Hello and welcome to Knit All the Yarn Podcast. My name is Lisa and I live in Michigan with my husband and my kiddos. You can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as 72 Stitches. And this is episode 233. I got my coffee and my knitting Jedi mug today. And I have peppermint mocha creamer. I forgot how much I love this creamer. I was kind of sad when my pumpkin spice went away, but after I had a cup of this, I'm like, oh, it's the best. Love it. Um, today is December 8th, 2023, Friday, and it is 8.50 a.m. During the week, I usually get up like 6 o'clock because my... Youngest has to be at the bus stop at 7, or she has to leave here like 6.45, so I have to get up pretty early. I don't like it. Next year, they, they both go to the same school, and um, my oldest daughter doesn't leave till like 7.30, so I could probably sleep till maybe like 6.45. Maybe? We'll see. <laughs> Anyway, this is my knitting, uh, my YouTube channel where I share my knitting, crocheting, and cross stitch, whatever crafty thing I'm up to. I will have all the show notes right down there um, with everything that I talk about today. My finished objects, my whips, patterns, needles, bags, yarn, all that good stuff will be right down there. Um, before I forget, I want to announce the winner for the the cow, the knit all the beep cow that ended the yeah ended Friday, and I was gonna say that I'm I was gonna pick a winner, and I did. So this is the winner. Since I don't edit, this is how I do it. So if this is you, you um message me either probably not Instagram. I'm pretty sure I follow you, but sometimes it can get lost in the shuffle. So message me on Ravelry or email me. My email will also be down there and my Ravelry will be down there. I need your Ravelry name, if it's not this, and a pattern of your choice up to $10. And I will get that out to you as soon as possible. So yeah, that's that. Um, what else? Looking at my show notes here. I'll have reading and watching later. A little bit of life stuff. Life stuff might be sprinkled in here today. And also I might have, this might be a very big, like, spoiler episode. Because I have lots of things that I'm working on that people may not want to see. So I will tell you what it is before I show it so you can close your eyes. I'll try not to talk about it too much. Um, I have to show it. Um, I'm not, I didn't post any pictures on Instagram about um, most of the things, or I've been, um, in my stories, I've been doing black and white photos. Been doing a lot of black and white photos. <laughs> and I'm wearing, this is my... Oh, what is this? Painting Honeycombs Shawl by Stephen West. The white is Stroll, and then I used my Harry Potter Advent from Dragon Horn Yards and Yarn Cafe Creations. Uh, I think this is 2021. I don't know. I've been getting that calendar for a few years. I don't know which year it is. I haven't worn this in a while and I thought I would dig it out of the archives of the shawl. And there's the back. Love it. So that's the painting honeycombs shawl and I'm wearing Christmas socks. Do we take it off a blocker? We'll just show it to you. I'm gonna take it off my foot because I don't wanna shove my foot up in the air gonna look kind of funky but this is um, night owl fibers coal in my stocking I love this colorway it's 
And it's afterthought heel. I'm still wearing my afterthought heels. They still fit. They're not, they don't like not fit to the point where I want to get rid of all of them. So I'm still wearing them. And maybe as my collection of heel flap and gusset socks gets larger, I might discontinue some of them. But um, yeah, I still love these. And I do not want to get rid of them. And they fit. They fit okay. Heel flap and gusset fits better, but I love these and I don't want to get rid of them yet. So, all right, I have two finished objects and three whips. First, I want to mention, I'll take a sip of coffee here. I think last episode I was feeling like very overwhelmed. And all week I was, I had that same feeling the whole, whole weekend. I had that feeling. I'm feeling a little better now I'm getting there. Um, I think my issue is I was feeling like overwhelmed with my stash and all my yarn. It's like, I have too much. I have too much. I think what the problem was is that I cast on four projects in a week and I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> um, my cozy knitter socks, the cozy knitter advent socks are in timeout. Um, they were kind of making me, I wasn't happy working on them. So I set them aside. The reason I was not happy about them was because, um, this year is a fade and I think I got three, three stripes done on one sock and then maybe two on one sock. And I couldn't tell the color in between the stripes. And I was like, if I can't tell the stripes, why am I doing a stripe a day? I don't like this. So I think the new plan is I'm just going to knit them. I'm not going to do a stripe a day. I think that's what I've decided. I think after I finish one of my whips is really close to being done. I think I'll, I will get them back out. But yeah, I think note to self, future Lisa. I know you really love that cozy knitter advent but maybe you should just get one advent skein next year. I think I know I'm going to get FOMO about that cozy knitter because I've got it. In, I've gotten it like six, five or six years in a row. So either that or I will get the cozy knitter and I will just knit it and I won't do the worry about the stripe a day. That is an, an, another alternative. Or I could save it and do it in January if I wanted. Um, with the Cozy Knitter, it's all wrapped up. You open it, you see all the stripes. So I won't be worried about spoilers. So I don't know yet. I haven't decided. But I'm leaning towards just Freckled Whimsy Advent Skein for next year. And I'm going to get on DK this year. Next year. This is my rambly thoughts. <laughs> so yeah, I was kind of like, I was just irritated with the cozy knitter. I mean, I love the colors. Her yarn is awesome. I have been buying her yarn for a long time. I, it's just, I don't think the fade was for me or I was too overwhelmed with three advent skeins. Maybe it was a combination of both, but uh, yeah. So you will not see those today. the cozy knitter socks but you may see them finish next week <laughs> yeah I think I've learned my lesson I need to just have like one or two whips sock whips now I have three but I'm feeling better so as long as I don't cast on another sock unless I finish one I think I'll be okay um I was gonna say something and I forgot oh okay so all of my socks are all of my finished objects and whips are socks is what I was trying to say. <laughs> so I'm going to tell you all the, the needles and all that jazz up front so I don't have to repeat myself six times, five times, whatever it is. <laughs> I do have a pair of DK socks. I'll talk about the needles and such when I get to that whip. So all of them are 64 stitches. The cuffs are 12 rows of two by two rib. They are all the 
Vanilla Sock on Magic Loop by Kay of the Crazy Sock Lady. I use Chowgu Red Lace Needles, 32 inch cord, US 1.5, 2.5 millimeter needle. I think that's it. Yes. So when I get to the DK socks, I will talk about the needles because they are different. Okay, I think I'm ready. 10 minutes in. Oh man. Let's still show some knitting. Okay, these are gonna be a spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. These are the Woolens and Nosh Advent Socks 2023. I showed them last week with cuffs. They are finished. I I could not stop knitting these. Since it was contained in a bag, they were all wound for me. I just had to pull it out. I just I just wanted to get to the next color. And then before you know it, I got through all of the color and I'm like, well, I might as well just finish them. So I did. So if you don't want to uh, be spoiled, close your eyes. I'm not gonna talk about it too much. I'm just gonna show them. I might say how beautiful they are. But I'll try not to talk about colors or anything. So you can just close your eyes for a minute or go switch laundry or something. Okay, I'm gonna show them now. Close your eyes. Look at these. I did have to use more than 24 stripes to get the socks. I think the color repeat. Yeah, this was the 24th stripe. So I had to knit one, two, three, four, five. I did it six more stripes, but I don't care because I love these colors. I was so excited that I had to knit a little bit more because when I was doing the cuff, I was like, oh. I did use the um, mini for the heels and the toes. But these are for me, I'm keeping these. I really love, um, and this is the, their Targi base, 90% Targi, 10% on, I think that's what it is. And as much as I love these, I will probably not be getting these again because they were pricey. But it was fun to experience it once it was probably pricey because it came with a bag. It came with uh, some goodies. They were all wound up for you and hidden in a bag. So I, I get why it was that much money, but I will probably not be getting these, but I do love them. So sock, whip, not whip. Finish object number one. Okay, you can open your eyes. I'm done showing them. Okay, these ones, these ones give me Christmassy vibes. Look at these. These are Freckled Whimsy. This was a mystery skein that I opened over here that I was doing. Um, these were Yarn of the Month, October 2022. So these have been in my stash for a while. And I used the mini for the heels and the toes. They're kind of giving me like Christmassy vibes. I think I mentioned that last week. I think I had one sock done. I don't remember. I think I had one. And they match. Look at me. Matching. So, yep. And these are for me. I need to start knitting some socks for other people. But I just can't. I can't stop. Pretty soon it'll be January and I will be starting my gift knitting. Yes, that's right. I start my gift knitting in January. <laughs> uh, okay, that is all of my finished objects. Whips. Now this whip is... Okay, I'm trying to think of... I don't think this is a spoiler. If you don't want to look, don't look, I guess. This is my Freckled Whimsy Advent from this year. I have eight stripes done. I'm keeping up with this one. I'm not um, going overboard and just knitting the whole sock, but it's really hard to do. <laughs> this is Stitching Plaza, my Grinch bag. I am doing the socks in tandem. So if you don't wanna look, close your eyes. But with the uh, Freckled Whimsy, Everybody's starting in a different spot, which I love. So it's kind of spoilery, but not really. Okay, I'm gonna show them. Oh, there they 
match my shirt. Look at that. So I got eight stripes done. Today is the eighth. I think I'm going to do 12 stripes and then do my heels. Last year I was able to do that. I did 12, 12 stripes for my leg, 12 stripes with my foot. But with the heel flap and gusset, I'm unsure about that. But I'm not concerned if I have to do a couple extra stripes to get the 24. Or if I get one less stripe. I'm not worried about it. I think I can do it. So here we are. Tandem. So I need to put some stitch markers on here. Or some progress keepers. I don't think... Do I have any in the bag? Nope. I don't. I do have some in stash acquisitions. I didn't show the tag. And this one is 7525 base. I think next year I'm going to get DK. And it's called Hearth and Home. I love it. Also, when I finish these socks, I will have three of her advents. All in 7525 base. I might do scrappy socks. And put the... The Lolo did it hippos for Christmas as the heels and the toes, or heels and, yes, heels and toes. <gasps> those socks, everybody loved those Christmas socks. Those scrappy ones that I showed last week. You guys loved them, and I did too. So I'm thinking maybe I'll do that. So I'll have some more Christmassy Advent scrappy socks. <sighs> or maybe I'll just do scrappy socks and I'll just have them like for everyday everyday wear because if I do the heels and toes in that Christmas yarn I'll have to put them in a Christmas box you know what? I probably have enough yarn to do two pairs one with Christmas toes and heels and one with not one not probably okay so that is whip number one my foot's falling asleep Whip number two is another spoiler, potentially. This will be up on Monday, so I'm hoping that everybody has gotten it. This is the first installment of the Freckled Whimsy Christmassy Club. Oh, got it on DK, 75.25. Here is the colorway name. Dear Santa, I can explain. <laughs> 12 stripe repeat. Oh. So I'm, I might be keeping this for a year, six months, somewhere around there until I get um, bored of it, I guess. Or actually, you know, my, my intention is to stockpile a lot of Christmas yarn because I knit through all of mine this year. I have zero Christmas games in my stash. So, since it's December, I'm like, I'm casting this one on, but maybe in January and so on, I will just put those in my stash and save them for November and December. So, if you have not gotten this yet, close your eyes, look away, fast forward, go switch laundry. Do what you gotta do. I know there's one person I talk to Stacy, she has not gotten hers yet, and I feel so bad. I'm going to have mine done before she gets hers. <laughs> but she's fast with DK socks. She'll she'll have these done soon. Okay. I'm going to I'm going to show them now. I'm doing them tandem again. I am loving the tandem socks. Okay. Go show them. So this one, I have the gusset done and the heel flap. This is really awkward to show. How do I show this? Do I get a sock blocker? <laughs> Let's get a sock blocker. I've forgotten how much I love DK socks. It's been a long time. And once I got this in the mail, and then I was like in my funky mood. I was like, I need to... Well, there's a needle in the way, but here we are. <laughs> I love it. So 
So I'm doing the heel in the mini that I came with. And I'll probably do toes too. These ones match, but this one is where the furthest along. And I am using the DK Weight Vanilla Sack Pattern by the Crazy Sack Lady. And I'm using Chogu Red Lace Needles US 3s. Yep. US 3, 3.25 millimeter. And I'm doing 48 stitches. We'll take this off the blocker now. And then the second sock is I I am still on the gusset. Alright. So this has one, two, three, four. This one ends on the green, the gusset, and I am on this gray color. So I have like I'm really close. It's like two more stripes left. But they match. <laughs> I'm having a hard time showing things today. Hold still. So they match. <gasps> I, I took my skein and I divide it in half as best I could. Because I wanted the stripes to match. So one of them was like maybe two grams more. So that is those. I also have some stitch markers on here. Some part of my stash acquisitions. I got some more Twin Mountain Handcrafts stitch markers. They had their Black Friday, or not Black Friday, their Small Business Saturday sale, and they had a few sets of the like Christmassy. They did not have Christmassy ones last year. So I was like, I have to get some. So I got some snowman faces. And it's glittery. So I'll show you the rest of them when I get into my stash. And then I have a Christmas tree, also glittery. Love it. I think their shop is closed right now for the holiday, but I have the I always have them like down below. So when they come back, check them out. I love their progress keepers. All right, this is also potential spoiler. <laughs> I received the Yarnable for December 2023. And since I was almost done with my DK socks, I'm like, well, that means I need to cast on another sock. So I cast them on. I brought back my, I know it's not an advent sock, but I want to use my advent bag. This is from Barley Pearls. I didn't say. I didn't show her this bag. Stitching the high notes. Christmas lots. That's where my freckled whimsy socks were living in that I just showed you. I think Barley Pearls shop is close for the holiday too, but I think I only have, this is the only bag I have from them. I should probably Actually, I got it. I got a new. I don't, there's only like two more weeks in December, but I have not bought in a bag all year. Oh, that deserves like a big pat on the back. Now, I've been tempted many, many times, but I don't need any more project bags. So I call that a win. <laughs> all right, Yarnable. And it's called Frosty Fox 8515 base. Superwash Merino Nylon. Uh, I'll show the socks and then I'll show the goodies that it came with. We'll just do it all together. Now I thought this was going to be like in your face Christmas. And when I opened it, I'm like, oh, that's not Christmas. But it's wintry. I still love it. I'm like really tempted to give these to my mom because these are her colors, but I don't think she'll like them because it's not. She likes the um the opal, the regia, the West Yorkshire spinner. She likes the rustic yarn, so I don't think she's gonna want these. She might say they're not warm enough. 
say up. I don't know. I feel like everybody's probably has their yarn bowls by now. I think I got mine like probably it's Saturday. If if you don't, I'm sorry. I spoiled it for you, but so I have both cuffs done. Tandem. I decided to split the skein in half and go to town and just do it this way. Going to my mother-in-law's or my in-law's tomorrow for Saturday. So I thought doing it this way, I could just, if I get to the heel on the one and I'm like, I don't want to do the heel right now, I could just go and do the leg on the other one. These might be done next week. So that is that, just cuffs. I already said the needles and all that stuff. So that is that. And I will show you, actually I need to leave that bag open. Show you the goodies. I love the goodies this time. No stinky cinnamon. <laughs> Not a fan of cinnamon, but it's okay. So here is, I got a stitch marker from Simply Serving. Look at that little fox. He has a cocoa and he has little green mittens on, or not mittens. <laughs> he has little green socks on. So I might be putting that progress keeper on those socks, or on one of them. Oh, that's so precious. Love it. Okay, so there's that. I will stick that in the bag. And then we got a yarn cozy. over your yarn. I don't think it'll work with that's that little fox and trees on it. And it's by Fox and Pine Stitches. Yep. Fox and Pine Stitches. Here's their tag. Oh, they call it a yarn sweater. <laughs> that's cute. Yarn sweater. I could try since I pull from the outside of the, the skeins, I don't think I'm going to be using this, but I used to be an inside pull gal, but not anymore. Let's see, let me shove this in here. Maybe. Without messing the skein up too much. It's not going to fit in there. Well, it's good. It's a little big. So, demonstration. If you pulled from the inside, if you pull from the outside, I don't think it's going to, yeah, it's kind of not going to work, but if I ever want to pull from the inside again, I have this. I didn't show the yarn. <laughs> now that I messed up my cake. So there it is. It's so blue. So I don't know. I'm really tempted to give this to my mom, but I feel like she's going to say they're not warm enough. So maybe I'll just keep them for me. And that is the extras for the Yarnable. All right, and I think that is all of my whips. We are into acquisitions. Doop. Take a sip of coffee. And we'll do some little bit of stash acquisitions. Did I say this was episode 233? I don't know if I said that. <laughs> Maybe I did. All right, I will show my stitch markers. The rest of the Twin Mountain Handcrafts. It might be kind of noisy. This one came with a free, like, iridescent snowflake but there's the rest of the snowman faces they're so cute and here's the rest of the Christmas trees I will be putting these in my little container of my collection of stitch markers there's the rest of the Christmas trees this one also has a star on it the other ones are just like 
pine trees. Love them. And then I couldn't pass these up because you guys all know I love mittens. I had to get the mitten set. Oh, yes. So I got some mittens. These ones are wood. Decided not to get um, all like glittery clear ones, so I got some wood. Some wood mittens. All right, and I have the Freckled Whimsy um, Christmas gain was part of my acquisitions. So I'm going to show the other club that I have. This is the Magical Mischief. Also have it on DK. So if you have not gotten your club yet and you don't want to look, don't want to see, close your eyes. I'm going to show it. Okay, close your eyes. I am going to show this to my daughter because I think she would love mittens out of this. I thought it was all blues, but there's some, oops, I just said colors, sorry. I think my daughter would love mittens in this. So I'm gonna show this to her and say, would you like mittens? And if she says yes, then I will make her some. And if not, maybe I'll make myself some. Or I'll do more DK socks. And here's the colorway name. I won't read it, or I won't say it, in case those of you that are keeping your eyes closed. So that is that. All right, that's all my stash. You can open your eyes now. Oh, my foot falls asleep again. Okay, reading and watching. I am still reading A Court of Thorns and Roses. <laughs> um, now that it's Vlogmas and everybody's putting out their episodes. Um, and I've been watching Doctor Who. I'm not having any time or I'm not making any time to read during the day. <laughs> but I think I'm like 70%. So I'm like... I'm getting closer. I need to like get a move on with these books. I know they get chunky. So I need to get a move on. Um, watching. We canceled our Apple Plus TV subscription, but we did, we were able to finish Mythic Quest. I think I said Mystic Quest last week. It's Mythic Quest. <laughs> Season three, we finished that. It was okay. I think I talked about that last week. It was like a video game tech company. So it kind of reminded me of Silicon Valley a lot. So if you like Silicon Valley, I would check it out. Um, so now we are on to, we're on to Netflix. Yep. I guess there's only one thing. Um, All the Light We Cannot See. That is like a mini series on Netflix. I read that book a long time ago and I enjoyed it. And I have to say I am enjoying the, t the TV show or whatever you want to call it. The mini series. I'm assuming this is like, there was no like season one. So I'm assuming it's, this is, um, instead of making a movie, they did a TV show. There's only four episodes. We're probably going to watch the last one tonight, and we'll be done with that. And that is on Netflix. And I've been watching, I have been like, I am obsessed with Doctor Who, you guys. <laughs> I watched so many episodes this week. They're only like 24 minutes long. So I am watching, on Tubi, they have Doctor, the first through seventh Doctor on there. All of the seasons. I've mentioned this before. I've watched bits and pieces of episodes from the first Doctor to the fourth Doctor, but I want to watch them all. So um, I am on, I finished season two of the first Doctor, and now I'm on season three. And that is the last season with the first Doctor. So then I will be going into the second Doctor pretty soon. That's great. And I'm really tempted. 
I have a skein of mustache yarn, Doctor Who yarn. I've had it in my stash a while. That's why I wrapped it. I couldn't find it over here. So I'm pretty sure I wrapped it. And I kind of want to knit it. But it's wrapped. What do I do? Do I peek? I know it's... I can feel when I feel the skein. Um, some of them have mini skeins. So I know it's not one of those. But there are some single skeins in there. Like, oh, darn it. Do I open it and just try to find it and knit it? <laughs> or should I feel the skeins and the one that feels like there's a mini skein, take them out and then take that number out of my little cup here and then draw from there to see if my chances will increase of getting that Dr. Who skein. <laughs> Darn it, I want to knit it. I had a feeling this was going to happen when I did this skein wrapping project. I had a feeling it was going to happen. So we'll see. I have plenty to keep me busy. So give me your thoughts. Should I just peek and open it, open them all and till I find it? <laughs> or should I do the, the semi cheating method and pull out all of the numbers for the sock sets and just leave in the single skein numbers in there? I don't know how many I have that are single skeins. So that is that. <clears throat> That's it for reading and watching. Life stuff. Like I said before, I, I've been in a like a weird mood. Like my, as you can see, I've knit a ton, but I feel like my mojo, my knitting mojo has been like trampled on, stabbed, I don't know, crumpled up. It's just, I'm not feeling it this week. But like I said, I'm starting to feel better. So I think I just overwhelmed myself. I think that's what happened. So note to self, I can't do that anymore. I can't, I can't, um, I can't do that. So I have two sock projects that I'm focusing on and then my advent socks, which they're not stressing me out right now. I think the thing was that was stressing me out is that I had three advent skeins and I was like, if I do one stripe a day, I'm gonna get to a point where I'm gonna have to do six Heel flaps, gussets, heel turns, and I'm like, oh my goodness, there's no way. There's no way I'm going to fall behind, and I think that's what was stressing me out. So I think I should just get one event skein next year. I'm repeating myself. Sorry. <laughs> uh, what else is happening this week? Oh, my kids, I forgot to mention this. My kids have <clears throat> had their band concerts this week. Um... So my youngest is in sixth grade and my oldest is in seventh grade. So they have, they're in different schools. Um, one had their band concert on Tuesday and the other one had their concert on Thursday. So we had two separate ones to go to. And of course they're both in like beginning band. So the Christmas songs were exactly the same, <laughs> but they did sprinkle some. They had the high school play for a little bit and then they had the other bands the concert band and the, what is it called? I can't think of the other band, but they had those plays, so they had other stuff to listen to. So that was nice for the parents that had to go to both of those. <laughs> so next year, I think they're going to continue playing. I asked my youngest and she's like, yeah, I still love it. I still want to do it. So um, next year, they'll both be in the same concert I think unless they switch things up they both play the flutes I don't know if I mentioned that they're both play the flutes yeah so that was exciting a little overwhelming too because I don't I don't like to do big crowds and that was a big crowd for me and oh I was feeling claustrophobic mm -mm. <laughs> but I'll do it for my kids <laughs> Yeah, I think that was it. Also, my husband went to the office uh, for a day or two. Yeah, Wednesday and Thursday. 
So I think that also helped my mood because I've had, I've, I don't usually have the house to myself very often because my husband works from home. And I think after having a, like six hours to myself each day, that was helpful for my mental state. <laughs> so that was nice. And that is why I got a lot of Doctor Who watching in. You know, when my husband's home, I really feel guilty for you know, knitting and watching TV. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't feel bad for watching podcasts, but TV, I feel bad for watching TV. I don't know, for some weird reason. But when he's not here, I don't care. So I watched extra Doctor Who episodes. <laughs> um, the weather, we still do not have any snow. No snow. Today the high is 53. So I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to wear my Christmas socks today. It might get too hot. 53 in Michigan. What the? What is going on? It's going to be like last year where we're not going to have any snow for December whatsoever. And we'll get it all in January and February probably. So it's not looking like a white Christmas this year, which makes me sad. It doesn't feel like Christmas without snow. I don't know. <laughs> so that's the weather report. It's been warmer and we also had a lot of rain. Like over the weekend. I think it rained all weekend. Yeah. So that is that. Um, goals. I think today I want to finish those Freckled Whimsy Christmas socks. The DK ones. And then once I finish those, I will either like work on the yarnable until they're done and then get the cozy knitter out or then, or like switch them up. Like one day I'll work on the cozy knitter. One day I'll work on the yarnable. I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet. But yeah, I think that's it. I'm going to try not to stress myself out. I think that's what my problem was. Anyway, I'm repeating myself over and over again. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I'll wrap this up. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, put them right down there. Uh, let me know. Ouch, I just stabbed myself. Should I find the Doctor Who skein? Or should I just, should I just be patient? And maybe next week open one. <laughs> all right i hope you are all well i hope you're all hanging in there um getting a lot of knitting done hopefully the christmas season is not stressing you out i thought that was also my problem it's like it's christmas i have a lot of stuff to do but all of my christmas shopping's done i just gotta wrap everything and i'm done so it's not that i think it was just too many whips so i hope you are all doing well um, did I say like and subscribe? Like and subscribe, all that YouTube stuff. And hopefully I will see you next week. Bye.